All right, y'all, what's good? What's poppin'? Um, just say this real quick. So, if y'all been wondering, in case you didn't know, when it comes to, like, breaking generational curses, it's a series because it will go to your first born. Your first born will be the one that has to break the generational curse of your life, especially for these masculines out here that be playing around with these karmics and don't even know what's going on. Because they think they're 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 focused on pussy and focused on unnecessary shit, and it's like it's up to you to break the curse or will go to your firstborn, right? So we all know that the third child in your family in the bloodline is the black sheep, is the the um the the child that's supposed to break the generational curses off of the mother's bloodline or the father's bloodline. So say for instance, I'ma just give you an example. So say for instance, like my ex, he plays with so many karmics with this black black magic and stuff like that, not knowing that my son that we have together is the one that's gonna have to break the generational curse off his father's side because his father ain't do it. So now my son has to go through the same thing I went through, the suffering, the, the the pain, the the um the turmoil, the conflict. My son gonna have to experience hoes and all types of shit because it's like it's it's passed down from your your side of the family to yours. So everything is starting to make sense now. I've been getting endless downloads all morning since I've been asleep. Like my guy's literally been in my ear. I also had like not only, like, I also had, like, encounters with my ex-father. Uh, like, my ex-father is really his uncle. I, I said that in a reading already. Um, I think it was, like, when I first started my tarot. Uh, it's a lot that this, that's going to be revealed. My ex need to pay attention. Um, the karmic he's playing with, she's now... She cursed her son and her bloodline, and she cursed my ex and his bloodline. So now my son have to be the one to break the curse. So for all of you that have been wondering why sometimes you have to sacrifice that firstborn child from your, um, the firstborn child of your ex is okay, so say for, for my divine feminists, you was dealing with a narcissist that was an ex. Yes, baby. Hold on for a second, because I got to get this out. I'm going to forget. So um, when you deal with a narcissist, right, that, that, that could be your ex, it could be a man, it could be a woman, right? And when you have a child with a narcissist, nine times out of ten, that child is going to be chosen, Okay. And when that child is chosen now, that child has to break off the curses from that lineage of that bloodline. So say for instance, my son is with his dad. I like I have a choice to fight for my son, or I can or I have a choice for my son to go through his um lineage as far as like far as on his father's side, like breaking the curses. Because we all know that third child is always the child that's supposed to break the curses. And my last son is my third child. That's why his birthday is what it is. So long story short, I'm just put it like this. Um my ex need to pay attention. Because he thought that he was cursing me. He was cursing his first boom. Playing around with these karmics. Playing around with this black magic voodoo hoodoo. All types of shit. Because we as divine beings, divine feminists, and divine masculines, we ha have to break the curse over our life from our mother's side or our father's side, depending on who or which child is with that parent. So like me, I was raised with my mom. So I had to break the curses that was on my mom's side of the family. And my son is with his dad, so he's going to have to break the curses with his father's side. And once again... His father played with black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, so he's cursing his firstborn son, not even knowing it because that's what they want you to believe. They want you to think that you're cursing someone else's bloodline or cursing somebody else, but you're real life cursing your firstborn. That's why the devil is, 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 is very tricky. That's why you got to know 
what you're playing with and what you're doing when you're out here playing with the devil. Because the devil goes after the first boom. The devil goes after who is really the special one. Like, he goes after the child that has the gift.